Hello, welcome to another uh, App Store optimization with Incipia. Today's topic is the iTunes Connect dashboard, uh, how to navigate around, again, what data points similar to the Google Play Console should you be looking at, um, how do you use this to help optimize your app performance. So here we have our company uh, account here, and we've got a few different apps that we published. We're going to be specifically looking at Goalie, an iOS only version, or an iOS only app that we've published. So once you click into an app, you can see the app information uh, that people will see in the store. You got your name, and if you go to the version that's ready for sale, uh, you'll be able to change your screenshots, your uh, keywords, your description. Keep in mind that you can only change your title, your screenshots, your keywords between builds, uh, but you can change your description at any time, as well as your um, new release notes. A funny quirk, but it makes sense because no no part of the description or the new in this version will rank for keywords. So one of the most important places of the iTunes Connect dashboard is App Analytics. And bear with me throughout this video, um, Apple's iTunes Connect is pretty slow. I've noticed some significant delays and the spinner has become a, a very common um, common thing for me to see and be stuck at. So I'm going to try and load a... Ah, here we go. Okay, so you'll see all the apps in your developer account, and you'll see impressions, app units, which is installs, any sales attributed, um, and then sessions, which is only for people who opt in, and it'll tell you what percentage of people have agreed to share the data, and crashes too. You can change the date period, um, and you can see any bundles if you have those. So again, we're looking at Goalie today. So once you click into a particular app, then you'll be able to see even more uh, data points over time. So impressions was something new that started in late May. That's why it comes from nothing all the way up to here. Um, impressions is when somebody searches a keyword and sees your app, or they see your app in a featured spot, or the category rankings. So impressions are always going to be higher than product page views. Product page views is when somebody actually clicks into your app listing and sees your all your screenshots, your description, more information. And then we've got units, which is installs. So similar to Google Play, we've got a um, funnel, uh, funnel progression here, all the way to revenue. So we've got total visibility here with impressions. Then we have uh, people on your specific page. So that's this conversion right here. Right here is your ability to convert um, lookers to viewers. Then you have a conversion rate to convert viewers into actual users through installs, and then users into actual revenue. So it's nice that Apple breaks it down in that direction, but it's not great that Apple doesn't does doesn't provide um, a conversion rate between each step. That's something I like more about Google Play's console. You can see all the data broken out by countries, um, and change your metric, and you can see retention rate um, for the last several weeks and devices that your app is installed on. So we'll start with the retention at the end here. Retention is an important factor for ranking for keywords. Um, Apple and Google, for that matter, want to see that people are installing your app and keeping it installed. They're continuing to find value, not just install and, un and uninstall. You can't, like you can in Google, see uninstall rates, but you can see active devices um, and sort of get to the same data point. So at the top, we'll see one month ago, what is your retention per day uh, on people that installed on the 19th. Uh, and then day one retention over time. So we can see our ability to retain users one day after they've installed on each date. Since we have, again, this is an app that we don't put too much effort into optimizing, so we don't have great numbers, uh, but you can see that um, this area down here is a cohort analysis. So this shows you on July 19th, or on a particular date, how many devices, um, opt-in data only, had this app installed, or how many installed on that day, and then over time, what was the retention rate for them. And you can see all these dates averaged up here into um, one day retention, two day retention, three day, and so on, all the way up to uh, 28 days. So 
this is good for seeing if you're doing a particular optimization in one day. Um, you could see after the second, once we optimized our app, screenshots and description, or we want to do a new push campaign, um, how does our retention look like from that day forward? So this is good data for measuring activation and retention of users. Um, sources is another place that you can go and see where people are coming to your app from. There isn't as much information as the uh, Google Analy Analytics say here, but you can see uh, websites that are sending you installs. So usually you're going to see organic, like google.com is going to be highest here. This is saying people that searched um, and found our app in google.com, how many uh, impressions in the app store did we get, and how many installs. Um, so app units, you know, we're seeing a much higher uh, units to impressions because we've been getting um, impressions and, and product page views and all that for a long period of time. And so this is uh, reflecting that there's a lot of people that have uh, searched this and uh, eventually installed. Campaigns. This is where you can use uh, iTunes Connect to track how your ad campaigns are going. While Facebook and Twitter will require you to type in the app and run campaigns that way, you can't enter in a URL. Um, for AdWords, let's just say you can create a tracker and use that uh, in your AdWords destination or final URL and see how your AdWords campaign is performing in terms of impressions, uh, installs, and sales. So it's pretty easy. You just type the name of the campaign. Let's just say AdWords US. Then you use this as your final URL. And then once there's enough uh, performance on that, you'll be able to see this here in this view. So that's pretty nice. Um, so keep an eye on this to see where people are coming and installing your app from. And then we have metrics, which is a breakdown of all the data points over time. So we have a time selector, you'll have a metric selector, and you can break it down by country, um, other filters and things. So here we have um, app installs uh, compared to impressions. So this is our ability to convert um, uh, searchers into actual users. So let's say that we made an optimization on a particular day that we can come here and see after that day, let's say it's on the 29th of June, after that day, does our conversion rate go up? And you can change from a ratio uh, to dual access to um, other things. So we can see our impressions over time and our app units over time here. And you can filter by, let's just say, uh, campaign, device, etc. We could do Canada. Let's see how our app is doing in, uh, in our neighbor to the north. So it's like I don't think actually we have any installs from Canada, so we'll stick with what we got here. Um, and you'll be able to see this data uh, over time, and you can export this if you click this button and export all this to Excel. So, yeah, and you can save views in particular. Um, so this is uh, an overview of uh, iTunes Connect dashboard. If you have any questions on this, or you'd like a deeper dive in some particular area, or you would like a, a coaching session, you can feel free to email us at hello at incipia.co, uh, subscribe to our channel, and follow our blog for more great information moving forward. Thanks all. We'll talk to you soon.